In this unknown carbonate sample, it will be reacted with hydrochloric acid in three different trials. In each trial, you will determine the mass of carbon dioxide, the mass of carbonate, and the percent carbonate. In the end, you will take the average of these three trials to determine what is your average percent carbonate, and then compare that to a set of standards to identify what compound the unknown is. In the first trial of the unknown carbonate sample, the mass of the empty vial, beaker, and acid is displayed. As with the baking soda sample, a small amount of the unknown carbonate sample is added to the vial. The combined mass of which is then weighed. In the first trial, the combined mass of the vial, beaker, acid, and sample it is displayed. This is the mass before the reaction. As with the other samples, the acid is added to the carbonate slowly. This prevents the carbon dioxide from overflowing out of the vial and causing errors in the result. After the reaction is finished, the combined mass can be recorded. The combined mass of the sample, vial, acid, and beaker is displayed. This is the mass after the reaction. The difference in mass between before and after the reaction is the mass of carbon dioxide that was lost during the reaction. For the second trial, the mass of the beaker, vial, and acid is displayed. As with the first trial, a small amount of carbonate is added to the vial. The combined mass of which is then recorded. For the second trial, the combined mass of the sample, vial, acid, and beaker is displayed. The acid is then slowly added to the carbonate sample. after which the mass is obtained. For the second trial, the mass after the reaction is displayed. For the third and final trial, the starting mass of the empty vial, acid, and beaker is displayed. As with the other samples, a small amount of the carbonate sample is added to the vial. The mass 
before the reaction can be recorded and is displayed. The acid is then slowly added to the carbonate sample, allowing the carbon dioxide gas to escape. after which the mass can be recorded. The final mass for after the reaction in trial number three is now displayed. With each of the trials now completed, you can determine the mass carbon dioxide, mass carbonate, and percentage carbonate for each of the three trials. Upon taking the average of those three percent carbonate values, you can then compare that to known samples and identify what is this unknown carbonate.